Subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. On April 21st, Queen Elizabeth II will celebrate her 93rd birthday. Though millions of words have been written about the world's longest reigning monarch, few people know the woman behind the crown. In honor of Her Majesty, here are 10 things you might not know about this royal legend, and why it's good to be the Queen. She was not born an heir, apparent to the throne. For the first 10 years of her life, Princess Elizabeth was a relatively minor royal. Her status was akin to Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie of York today, but that all changed with the death of her grandfather, King George V, in 1936. The next in the line of royal succession was Elizabeth's uncle, Edward VIII, who abdicated the throne less than a year after taking it so that he could marry an American socialite named Wallace Simpson. Edward didn't have any children at the time, so his brother Albert, Elizabeth's father, ascended to the throne taking the name George VI and making the then 10-year-old Elizabeth I in line to become queen. She didn't go to school. Heirs apparent don't just show up to primary school like normal kids. Instead, Elizabeth was tutored at home during sessions by different teachers like Henry Martin. She married her cousin, Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh and Queen Elizabeth are third cousins, both share the same great-great-grandparents. Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. She didn't tell her parents she was getting hitched. In 1946, Philip proposed to Elizabeth when the former planned a month-long visit to Balmoral, her royal estate in Scotland. She accepted the proposal without even contacting her parents. But when George VI finally caught wind of the pending nuptials he would only officially approve if they waited to announce the engagement until after her 21st birthday. The official public announcement of the engagement finally came nearly a year later on July 9, 1947. She has two birthdays. Like most British monarchs, Elizabeth gets to celebrate her birthday twice. She was born on April 21, 1926, but April was deemed too cold and liable to fall during inclement weather. So instead, her official state-recognized birthday occurs on a Saturday in late May or June, so that the celebration can be held during warmer months. The specific date varies year to year in the UK. She doesn't have to pay taxes, but chooses to anyway. Queen Elizabeth has voluntarily paid income and capital gains taxes since 1992, but has always been subject to value-added tax. She created her own breed of dogs. Elizabeth has a famous, avowed love of corgis. She has owned more than 30 of them during the reign. Her last one, Willow, passed away in 2018. But what about Dorgis? She currently owns two Dorgis, Candy and Vulcan, a crossbreed she engineered when one of her corgis mated with a Dachshund named Pipkin that belonged to Princess Margaret. 